Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, in the course of machine learning at University of Baza, we derived it uh, in details the adaptation of uh, the weights in uh, artificial neural networks with backpropagation algorithm uh, for any number of layers and for any number of neurons. And based on that derivation, uh, I wrote uh, uh, this simple code in order to uh, find uh, or to train the neural networks. And as I mentioned in the course, that uh, this is not optimized in terms of the speed, so it is quite slow compared with the ready packages. The code, um, I wrote the code uh, with the uh, Octave, and it is compatible with MATLAB. So here I run it on MATLAB on the <clears throat> right, right side of the screen. <clears throat> So you can see here that I use the backpropagation artificial networks. I call it A and MAT. And here you, you put the input and the desired output. You put the number of neurons based on the number of layers as you want, and also the functions of each layer and the error, the number of maximum number of ebooks and the percentage between the training and the validation uh, set. And then you will get the output of the validations uh, data and also the optimum number of weights. Uh, oh, sorry, the, 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 the weight values for e, for all layers. <clears throat> um, for the, uh, to compare the speed of this basic function and uh, the function uh, or the ready package of Julia. So you can see that on the uh, left side of the screen, uh, Julia code, and uh, I use here Flux uh, package, and uh, then we uh, compare the speed of of each one uh, 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 that uh, the basic function and the most efficient uh, package of from Julia. Uh, in this one, for the testing purpose, uh, I generate as you can see here data one thousand entry and one hundred column. Uh, each column, I assume that it is uh, one attribute or feature, and then we have 1,000, uh, the total number of data. And then I uh, generated this one as a desired output. So I tried to be uh, like a complex nonlinear relation between the input and the desired output. The beginning is just linear summation of all of the entries, and then the product of the first 10 entries, and then division between the 50 featured by the 70 feature, uh, the absolute value of the 70 feature, and also the square, the cube, and uh, also some nonlinear with the sign. Sign here means uh, if the input is greater than zero, it will be one, less than zero will be minus one multiplied by 20. So we try, we try to have some fair, fairly complicated uh, feature uh, or a desired output compared with the, with the input. Then we have uh, this entry or uh, this data, data file. And I save this data file to be used by, by my function and also by Julia function, okay? Now, uh, for the purpose of training, uh, here we put X. X, as I said, consists of the entry and the desired output. Then you put the numbers of neurons in each layer. Of course, you can you can have one layer, two layer, three layer, four layer, any number of layers. And here uh, uh, we have a three. It means that we have only the input layer and one hidden layer and the output layer. The numbers here is the number of neurons in each layer. So fifty means that we have we used here uh, fifty neurons in the input layer, and then ten neurons in the hidden layer, and of course one neuron in the output layer because we have only one output, so we have to use one neuron in the output. Then here you can put the functions. For example, if you put LTT, it means that L is linear. T is tangent function for the hidden layer and tangent function of the output layer. You can use all of them, that T, or you can use T uh, sigmoidal function and T. So it, it is up to you how you want to use the functions here. Then this is the, uh, the average error. When the average error is less than or equal to 0.001, then it will stop the training and then this is the maximum number of ebooks that it is 1000 and finally is the percentage between the training and the, and the validation it means that here we have 1000 inputs so 900 will be used for the training and 100 will be used 
for the validation and the output of this function will be the output of the validation and also the weights the values of all weights in the all layers so this is it is very simple function but as i said it is based on the just directly <clears throat> the basic equations of the adaptation. So we don't use any ready function of uh, MATLAB. So we didn't use the, the, uh, the neural network toolbox or machine learning to toolbox. So the, the, um, the main um, uh, like m m objective or motivation for writing this function is for the educational purpose, for educational purpose, so that students can see how to uh, convert for that, those like a uh, um, bit descent algorithm for the adaptation, how could be used for uh, on, on some in, uh, over any programming language, MATLAB or uh, C++ or any other language. <clears throat> on the other side, on the screen, so you can uh, you can see here that uh, we use uh, this package, Flux package for uh, learning, for machine learning. Then I read the same file this file it has been also saved here and then uh, we read it okay using this function and then we uh, use the first 900 uh, entry for the training and also for x train and y train and for testing we use the rest 100 so it, it is the same here and also the number of neurons you can see uh, we use this chain uh, 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 function in, 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 in the flux. So you can see that we use this dense. We have 100 input, 50 neuron in the input uh, layer. And then we use 10 uh, uh, neurons in the hidden layer. And finally, one neuron in the output layer. Here, the first number here is the input. So we have 100 input for the first layer. And then we have 50 input for the second layer because we have 15 euros in the in the first layer so we should have the same number of inputs in the second layer and so on <clears throat> then we make the training i use this uh, package tiktok in order to, just to compute the required time to execute this function and also i use tiktok here in 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 octave or matlab to find the uh, to compute the execution time so here, let us start with the MATLAB, uh, with my function here. And now it starts uh, the computation. It will take, of course, a much longer time than Julia. And in Julia's side, I will also run the code. So you can see here. So it, it, it started already computing by showing. This is the A box. Uh, so the maximum number is 1,000. So we will see how, how much time it will take in order to finish this 1,000. Here uh, in, in the MATLAB, in order to uh, reduce the computation time, so I didn't print out the ebook number, but it, when it is uh, uh, it finished, this 1,000 will stop by itself. As you can see now, it is almost done for the Julia. <clears throat> yes, so it is done already. It takes 50 seconds about. You know that if you run it second time, it will be even much like uh, uh, faster if you run it second time. But before that, let me blot the, the result for the rest for the validation code. So you can see here, so it is the, uh, uh, the original data is the uh, blue one and the red one is the output of the uh, neural network. So you can see that it is of course not 100%, not but still it follow the trend of the data, which means that we have some kind of generalization of the data itself. So it might need, of course, more. It might be like because of uh, uh, like underfitting. So it might need higher, larger uh, size in order to catch the data or maybe more number of ebooks. 
or changing the, ad the, 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 the adaptation rate and so on. But the, the idea here that I want just to see the, the, the difference in time between using basic function uh, and using uh, those Julia packages. So now, uh, just to show you that if I run the same code again, maybe you can, of course, change something here. Maybe change the data or maybe change the number of neurons. Let, let me change here the number of neurons in the hidden layer. So instead of 50, let me put it 60. Okay, so I added them a little bit. And let me now run the code again. So the first time was, as you can see, that it was 50 seconds. It takes about 50 seconds. And now let us see, even we increase the size of the network a little bit. And now we, we see how, how much time it will take to execute the same code. So you can see that now it becomes even faster because when you run the code the second time, it becomes faster. So you can change any parameters and repeat the code. You can see on the right side that my function is still running. So there is no outputs yet. If we run now the uh, Julia for the second time. Yes, now it is done. It takes almost the same time. So it, it is 29 seconds, even the code is, is larger now. And if I run the plot function. Yes, so now you, we can see that it is, it is even better before when we increase uh, the size of uh, the network. Okay, so it means that it is almost uh, it captured the relation between the input and and uh, the output. Okay, so um, of course it can be uh, usually the errors or the differences can be due to the due to like uh, overfitting or uh, uh, like uh, uh, underfitting of, of of the data. Okay, uh, this one is still running, so I will pause the video. Now the recording for a while until we got the result, then we be back again. So let us, it might take more, more few minutes. Yes, it takes about, as you can see, it takes about more than seven minutes in order to compute the same or to solve the same problem. And uh, it is about, uh, actually Julia now is about more than 15 times faster than the same code uh, or the same function that done over MATLAB. But I just uh, would like to remind you that I didn't use uh, any of the toolboxes in the MATLAB, so it, it should be more efficient than my code. Uh, however, that uh, comparing both uh, functions, it is clear that using Julia is much more efficient than using Ready uh, or using uh, um, just your own code to, for the computation. However, that I always uh, encourage students to write their own code from scratch because this will understand step-by-step step how the adaptation is done uh, over each weight in each layer. Uh, here we use it just normal backpropagation unit works, but the same concept can be applied also in deep learning with convolutional, for example, uh, network where you can adapt also the weights of the matrix of the convolutional uh, uh, function itself. So actually the concept is, is the same. And once you write the code yourself, you will understand uh, like deeply how, how things are, are done. Uh, here, maybe we show that this is the figure output. So it is somehow, because you can see here, so it is almost, the, it is not that good, actually. Uh, we use different data sets for the training, but still, maybe it will need more training or bigger network as we did for, for Julia. But of course, when I work myself uh, for my research, I uh, don't use my, my own code. Uh, this is my own function for computation for the neural networks or for the deep learning, but this is only for the educational uh, for educational purpose, I do prefer to use Julia. It's much faster, uh, and uh, um, it gives at, at least you can try. For example, if I just um, increase the number of neurons to be, if I want to use, for example, one hundred neuron 
uh, in the input and uh, this will be also 100 and I used let's say another 100 neuron in the middle or in the hidden layer okay so it is actually uh, maybe just I use lower number of a books just because I would like to show you just how this could be done so you can see that even this uh, network now is very big 100 neuron and 100 neuron so you can see that how many that interconnected weights here but you can see you can see how fast is it yes so it gives the result very fast and now if I check the I believe that if I did that for my code, it will take at least one or two hours to give the result. But now you can see, yes, it, it, it has captured many of the features in the input and the output. Okay, uh, that's all that I wanted to, to show you uh, about the code and Julia, so it is good uh, uh, to use. And I will upload both. Uh, this, this one, actually, my function is already uploaded to the course model and I will up upload uh, this function of Julia that you can use yourself. Okay, thank you very much.